What's up? This is Squire2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Wait, today we'll be doing some towing and repoing here on the mowing map. We'll be hopping in the Chevy Dually and making our way over to the towing shop. And this has been a really highly requested video. We'll be towing a few cars, then we'll be heading out, repoing a Ford Raptor, a few ATVs, and we will also be repoing a lifted truck. So we have a variety of vehicles to go tow and repo today, which should be interesting since it, they were all required different tow trucks. The towing shop is right over here to the left. I really do like the new shop. A lot of you guys are liking it also. So it's a overall very nice shop. We'll kind of pull in here and we will actually be backing right in front. This uh, first garage door we really won't be using today since it's the very large tow truck and we uh, do not need to be uh, using that today. So we'll be opening this up. We'll be hopping the Chevy 3500 HD tow truck. We are using a variety of different brands also today. We'll be using the F650 service truck to repo a, uh, the uh, ATVs also. So we'll kind of pull out here. Now the first one is at the gas station right around the corner and the vehicle is blocking the gas pump. So we'll have to come in here. We'll have to lower the arm down and it's a pretty quick tow which is awesome and very helpful for us since we do have a very busy day. We'll lower down the arm, which does take a little bit of time. And we'll back up to, we'll turn on our LED lights. It looks like this is an old VW, and a lot of these mods I have featured in a lot of pretty cool videos. And take a look at that, guys. We got it lifted up. We do need to make sure that everything is good. Looks like it is front wheel drive, but we can only attach to a phone and back since it does have a tow hitch. So that's very easy, quick. Take a look at that. So we'll kind of pull out here. We'll be uh, bringing this to the tow yard, which is around back. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content. I'm very excited to be doing cool videos like today's reboing, and we are changing up the maps very soon. So we'll pull in here in this nice, awesome tow shop. We do have a water room, and I will now start to keep all the vehicles here which will be pretty nice to do so that looks to be good right about there we'll kind of uh, lower it down and we'll kind of get the the uh, tow bar kind of back because we will be using the F650 rollback for the next towing job which will be a BMW uh, i3 it's an electric car so it's going to be interesting first time towing an electric car now we will be doing a few multiplayer repo videos coming very soon, which will be very interesting. We'll back in. I always do like to park everything up. It looks pretty cool. And I mean, this could almost be used as like a fire station. I might look into changing the colors around and maybe using this as a fire station. I just really do like the looks of it. We'll have to close this one also. So next up, we'll be hopping in the F650. I really like this. One of my new favorite uh, rollbacks. It's brand new. It's a 2017 model year truck. So I mean, it's pretty awesome awesome to have this. We will kind of drive out as the door closes. That is a little uh, scary, almost because the door could come down on you. So we'll be heading into the old part of town to kind of uh, go do these, but I really do like this truck. Everything does work on it. The turn signal is a little challenging to see since it's down below, but it still is very nice. Now this truck is definitely pretty large, especially for a small SUV uh, electric car, but it will still do the job, and we always do have a variety of uh, tow trucks, and we take the one that's most realistic, and this uh, we cannot really uh, tow since it is all-wheel drive, so we'll be uh, using this. Take a look at it. Look over there. The business is closed. It's after hours, so I mean, it's definitely not uh, supposed to be here. So we'll lower this down. We'll kind of back up and we'll put it on the rollback. We do actually uh, will be getting a key to it since uh, the owner did find the key on the wheel. So that looks to be good right about there. We'll hop in the BMW i3, and a lot of these mods that we are using today I have featured in mod reviews, so we'll drive this on. Now, since there is a walking script, it does run into a few problems with my game, so I really do not use the walking script much. Take a look at that, guys. We got it on very fast. I do like being efficient, and the turning radius on this truck does take us just a little while but since we do have a busy day I'm thinking we'll probably just leave this on the truck and we'll probably take it off the truck off camera or maybe at the end if we do have extra time 
So the next one we will be going after today will be the Ford F-150 Raptor. Now it could pretty much be called a toy since it's a sport off-road uh, factory truck which is awesome. I do like the Ford Raptor just that I, I would call it a toy also like a fun vehicle to drive. So for today we are calling it a toy, very expensive off-road toy if you would say. So we'll be hopping in a Dodge 5500 and we'll be uh, going and I believe it's at the country club, but we'll probably stop by the house on the way. So we're kind of pulling right about here. That's good. We'll turn off the lights. Yep, they all turned off. And we'll come back over here. And I believe that we could walk in this door right here. Awesome. We are now inside. We'll be opening up this door. I do like using the blacked out trucks for the repoing. It's very realistic because uh, they do not really want you to know. And I am working on a tow truck for release. I think it's going to be a medium sized one in between this and then the uh, rotator if you would say. So the house is actually on the way to the country club which is pretty cool. But this truck definitely does not have an inside view. You can see it from the... Uh, back here that you could see the grill and everything like that so we can't really look at that so the house is actually up here and I am working on version 2 of the map also so the house is take a look at that the house is actually right next to the country club there's no vehicles there so it must be at the country club we'll be parking right over here turning our uh, lights on we'll hide out right here now uh, the house is over there but we'll kind of run we'll jump over the fence and actually no we'll probably stay right along the sides it looks like we cannot since there's a lot of collisions so we'll kind of walk over here there looks to be nobody around which is good and we'll take a look Take a look guys, I do see a Ford Raptor, we'll come over here, we do have to check the VIN and take a look at that brand new 2017 Ford Raptor, it is a correct VIN, we'll be running back, we'll be getting this fast, this is pretty expensive uh, off-road uh, Ford pickup truck, so we'll kind of uh, have to hop over the fence right here and hop back in this truck. Now usually you would not really uh, be using a tow truck like this for some pickup trucks. But it is in two-wheel drive, most likely, and when we were checking the bin, I did check, and it said two-wheel drive. So that means it's rear-wheel drive right now, and not four, but usually you would have to probably put it up on dollies if it was all-wheel drive. So we'll kind of raise it up just like that. Looks, we'll raise it up just a little bit more. Take a look at that, guys. We got it. That's awesome. So looks like it is actually a little heavy for us, which is fine. I mean, the truck is squatting in the back just a little. We'll be heading back. I think we'll go the easier way. We do not also want to pass by his house just in case anybody was there. We do not want him to know where we are exactly going. But the bank called us up because they did not pay and uh, we are always uh, open to going after expensive repos like this. If you guys do have any cool video ideas for me, drop them down below in the comments. I'm very excited to be doing daily farm sim videos. We are doing two a day. The second video of the day, I am trying to change it up, do a different game, which a lot of you guys are really liking. So, up next, I think we'll probably go after the few toys, because that's a little bit more money than the older lifted truck we'll be going after. And even though the vehicle is pretty old, which we are rebuilding later on today, they did not pay off their loan, and the bank will still come, even if it's a pretty old vehicle, because they do have money invested. So we'll probably drop it right about here, and I think we'll probably leave this tow truck just around back, that way it's a little bit easier for us. So we'll kind of park this right here, we'll be coming back, we can easily park it up off camera, but we are taking a totally different vehicle today for repoing them. We are taking the Ford F650 service truck with this. This is a pretty awesome uh, repo rig because you really wouldn't think a service truck is coming to repo some toys, which is perfect. We do need to repo these and uh, we do have a large trailer so we'll be able to do two repos uh, without having to come back, which is also my goal to be efficient. So uh, that's going to be helpful. We'll come over here, we'll close the door, and I mean, take a look at this setup. We'll be probably putting the smaller one over here, the larger one in the back. So one of them, one is a Yamaha four-wheeler, the other one is a Can-Am X3. So we'll be going after both. They are pretty expensive, and I mean, one of them is pretty large. So we'll probably go off the, the larger one first. We'll probably just park right outside because, I mean, you wouldn't really think that this is a repo rig, which is awesome. I really do like this setup. This Eager Beager is a very cool trailer. 
I do like using it. So I believe that it is down this street. Yep, take a look at that. Now our repo is across the street, so hopefully the word does not spread that the repo man is in town. But looks like it's just down the road here. That's awesome. So I think we'll probably park up right after the driveway and we'll go around back. Let's take a look. So as we are driving by, and I see something in the back there. That's pretty cool. We'll turn our hazard lights on and we'll kind of run over here. Let's take a look. We have to run pretty fast. Let's take a look. So we're gonna kind of hide right here. Looks like nobody is over there. Let's take a look. Nobody's around back. Awesome. Take a look at this. It's the Can Am. Amazing, amazing uh off-road machine, and I really do like using it pretty fast, and it's pretty good that we do have the trailer already uh, ready to go. It is also a very wide one, so we'll have to kind of drive this on. Alright guys, we are making it work. It just barely fits, and I mean, that is a little challenging to do, but we got it to work, which is awesome. We'll turn our beacon lights on, and the next one is actually right across the street here at the trailer park, so it's right here. It should be over here to the left. But we'll kind of get in the direction to kind of uh, exit if we have to. And take a look. It's right over there. It's awesome how it's like right next to each other. We'll put the ramp down. Now this one might be a little challenging. There's a lot of uh, homes in a very small area. But we put down that gate. The side gates are very helpful. So we'll check the bin. It should be right here on the frame. And it's the correct one. We'll turn it on. And we'll have to... I think we'll probably just back it on. It's a little bit easier than completely turning around. Take a look at this, guys. This just about fits. I am trying to do my best, and using a Xbox controller is also very helpful for us. We'll put up the ramp, and there we go, guys. We have one more repo of the day, which is a lifted truck. Very successful. I mean, we are very efficient, and I think using this trailer is also pretty helpful. That is one large can am. And I really do like the mirror, pretty cool. It does look like have our complete roll cage blacked out, which is awesome with orange uh, accent on the wheels, which is pretty cool. We'll definitely indicate I do like using the turn signals. You guys have asked for me to use them a lot. So we do definitely do not have time, especially since we drove by, and they are pretty close uh, houses, so we do not want the word to spread. So we'll just kind of, uh, I would say, park this up in the back, not even uh, kind of unload everything. We'll hop in the uh, Dodge 5500. We have two Dodges for the repo side of the business, which is pretty cool. We'll turn off the beacon lights. We'll probably just pull in just like this. I do have a lot of organizing to do once all of them are complete, but you do want to get them before uh, they could go missing. We'll hop in this very nice truck. It is pretty awesome blacked out. We'll lower the garage door and head out. Now this truck should be able to handle the uh, second gen Dodge, it is old second gen, but it is lifted and uh, they did take out a loan so that they could afford the lift kit, so it's up for repo because they have not paid. Now this truck looks awesome, I really do like the looks of it, it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to have our uh, tow truck set up so we are facing the direction of our shop, that way it's a little bit easier, we do not have to continue to drive through the town. It should be up here on the street to the left and then to the right. So let's see. Take a look at that. We already did drive by. We'll just block it in. And if it is the correct one, we do have a key since uh, they gave it to the company when they took out the loan. Let's take a look. So look at those wheels. I mean, that looks pretty cool. It looks like fuel wheels. And it's the correct bin. So this will be a challenge. I'm not exactly sure how we are going to do it. But since we do have the key... We'll probably drive right over here. This looks to be good. I'm trying to stay a little bit far away from the... Let's take a look. So there's actually a very large... We turn our beacon lights on. I want this to be a pretty nice, efficient way for us to do it. And this will take us some time. So take a look at that. We'll be parking over here at the mall. This should be perfect. Kind of hide right up against here. But you guys can see the beacon lights are flashing up against the building awesome i really do like that awesome realistic part so we got the wheel back down we got the truck running we'll kind of run over and we'll hop in now it should 
have been how we kind of parked it up there then ran over checked and then hopped in but they probably already know since a tow truck stopped out but looks like they did not drive off which is good we'll kind of drive it over here now like I was saying this will be a pretty large challenge to get on So you guys can see we got it on the rollback. I'll have to uh, definitely put this up on and I'm not exactly sure if this 5500 will be able to handle it. So hope you guys enjoyed today's towing and rebuilding video. Let me know what we should do for the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.